On Sunday afternoon at 2.44 p.m., fall officially begins. It seems fitting, then, that Sunday will feature a range of weather phenomena, beginning with conditions typical of the warm season, with a quick transition to more winter-like conditions in the higher elevations as a strong Pacific storm system moves through the area. The storm will pass over the region Sunday into Sunday night, with conditions improving Monday in its wake. During the late morning and into the early evening, showers and thunderstorms will be the rule across eastern Utah and western Colorado. There is a possibility that some of these storms may be severe with 1-inch hail and wind gusts to 60 miles an hour possible. In addition, heavy rain may bring about flash flooding and or mud and debris slides. Ahead of a cold front associated with this storm, breezy southwest winds and mild temperatures will prevail across the forecast area. The front sweeps rapidly eastward across eastern Utah and western Colorado Sunday afternoon, causing snow levels to drop from above 12,000 feet to around 95 to 10,000 feet on Monday morning. This could bring from 2 to 4 inches of snow to areas above 10,000 feet overnight, which may result in winter driving conditions over the high Colorado passes. At noon Sunday, the cold front associated with a strong Pacific storm depicted by the large L over eastern Nevada will have moved to the Utah-Colorado border. Ahead of the front, deep monsoonal moisture will surge northward over the region which is depicted by the red, yellow, and green colors in the image. This moisture, combined with the strong Pacific disturbance, will fuel numerous showers and thunderstorms across the entire forecast area. A portion of the area may see severe thunderstorms, with the main threat being hail to one inch diameter and wind gusts of 60 miles an hour or more. Training of thunderstorms could result in excessive rainfall and localized flash flooding. This image, generated by the Storm Prediction Center, or SPC, shows a probabilistic forecast of severe weather within 25 miles of a given point for Sunday. Local analysis performed here in Grand Junction favors the Four Corners region in particular from late Sunday morning through the afternoon. Again, the main severe thunderstorm threats are for large hail and wind gusts in excess of 60 miles an hour, the latter appearing more likely given the relatively strong southwest flow ahead of the Pacific Storm Center. This image shows the storm center depicted by the large L at midnight Sunday night. The cold front ahead of this system has moved swiftly over the plains and cold air will be filling over the region in its wake. This will result in a lowering of the snow level with accumulation spreading to near 10,000 feet. Though precipitation will remain widespread in the mountains, the intensity of this activity will be decreasing. However, instability and moisture lifting over mountain peaks and ridges will continue to bring snowfall to the higher elevations through much of the night. The amount of snow is more difficult to pin down during the transition season, but models suggest upwards of 4 inches are possible above 12,000 feet, with roughly 2 to 4 inches possible in the 10,000 to 12,000 foot range. The image shown was taken from the 12-hour snowfall accumulation of the NAM 40 projection, valid at 6 a.m. Monday morning. To summarize, scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms are expected Sunday with the strongest storms across the Four Corners area. Breezy winds will make traveling on east-west oriented roads a nuisance for high-profile vehicles with local areas of blowing dust possible. Once the front pushes through Sunday afternoon, snow levels lower with accumulating snow possible in the high mountains. In conclusion, if you are planning travel over the mountains Sunday night, be prepared for winter driving conditions. Hikers who might be planning a late-season assault on the area's many 14ers may want to hold off for now. Enjoy the fall season, and thanks for listening.